Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about some reasons why you might not be happy living here in Thailand. Now for the most part, before we get started, for the most part most of you will love Thailand. It will be fantastic. I love it. It's a great place to live. But we're going to go over some things that may make Thailand a place that you really don't want to be. The first reason we're going to call wherever you go, there you are. Meaning, if you're coming to Thailand and you've had a lot of personal issues, crimes, violence, other issues that you may have had from your home country, don't think just because you move to another country that those same problems won't come with you. In other words, changing your address doesn't change your issues. So if you're coming to Thailand and you're looking for a fresh start, you're going to have to start that from the inside out. If you made your life a hot mess in your home country, you're going to need to change something in your own life before you come over here. Just being in a different location isn't going to fix that. And the reason I even bring this up, you may say, what prompted Tony to talk about this? Well, I get the news for Thailand every day and a lot of times we find foreigners that move here in the news where they're committing terrible crimes murder, stealing, rape, you just fill in the blank. And these are people who probably, this isn't the first time they've done something like that. They did this in their home country and they may have thought, oh, I'll come over to Thailand and have a fresh new start. But no, that's just gonna change the area where you do the things you shouldn't be doing. So my advice to you before you end up in a Thai prison over here is you need to change yourself. If you're unhappy, you're gonna to have to change yourself from the inside out. Now I will say a fresh start is a good start to it, but you're gonna to need to work at it whenever you do move here to Thailand to make sure you don't fall in that same rut that you were in before. The next one is unrealistic expectations. So in your mind, you came here, let's say on vacation and you had such a great time. You're like, man, I wanna live like that every day. Unfortunately, that will wear off because if you're doing that every day, you get to the point where you don't want to do that anymore. And then you're stuck with a country and you're like, well, what else is there? So you need to make sure you're not trying to live your life as a tourist. So the way I would say around that one is you need to find other things if you're wanting to move here in Thailand, other reasons to move here besides just coming here and living like a tourist because it will unfortunately wear off. So don't set unrealistic expectations about moving here and do keep this in mind. The mundane tasks that you have to do in your home country, you're going to have to do here. However, a lot of people come here only on vacation and they don't have to do those mundane tasks while they're here because they're on vacation. But just keep in mind, life is going to be somewhat the same as far as those mundane tasks go here as they are back in home. It's the difference between living in a country and just being a tourist financial constraints. Now everyone is always looking up at cost of living Thailand or the reason you want to move here is because of the low cost of living here in Thailand. I can't blame you whatsoever. It's a real thing. It's so much cheaper. It's awesome. You can do a lot more. Whatever your hobbies are, you can actually do those. Here's where people fall into trouble. And I'm talking to you who cannot manage their finances real well. You could put together every budget you want to on the earth, but when you come over here, again, the money is different from what you're used to. It looks like monopoly money, play money, and you start spending it like it's going out of style because it doesn't look like your home currency. So you start spending frivolously and because things are cheaper, you do more of it. So yeah, you could go out and get food for 40 baht. Great. But what you end up doing is, well, that was only 40 baht. Well, I'll just splurge and get this. And oh, maybe I'll get two of that since it's only 40 baht. What I'm saying is it's very, very easy here to spend way more than you budgeted for, even though things are cheap. And that can really mess you up because you come over here expecting to spend so much and that's all you have. And you end up spending a lot more or some of you single guys get a girlfriend over here and you didn't really uh, put down the expenses of how expensive she was going to be. 
and all her needs and wants. So unrealistic budgeting is also an issue why you may resent moving to Thailand. Now do keep in mind if you're trying to move here for a fresh start and you're looking forward to everything and everything's gonna be great, not everything will be great. You're gonna have culture shock and what I mean by that is you're gonna get over here and find out things don't work the way they did in your home country. And you're gonna to have to learn to deal with new irritating things. They may be some of the same irritating things, there's gonna be new irritating things, and now you don't even speak the language yet to be able to address them properly, which can lead to a lot of frustration. I will say you're doing the right thing by watching videos about moving to Thailand, because you can kind of get some insight before you come over here. And by, by saying that, also know that we do have over 300 videos about moving to Thailand, so make sure you check them out. Your social life here in Thailand could be a challenge if you're an introvert in your home country and you come over here and you're still an introvert. If you're not gonna get out and meet other people, it could leave you in isolation. So now you're in a new country, all your family's back home, and you don't have any of them obviously here to talk with, so you're gonna need to get out and make new friends. And if that's not your forte, you're really going to need to work for it. So what I would suggest to you is forcing yourself to get out and meet other people. And in Thailand, it's fairly easy to do. At night, there's a lot of people conglomerated all over the place. You shouldn't have any problem meeting anyone. Just know it's gonna take a little bit of effort on your part. And if you hate doing that kind of stuff, I get it but you're gonna have to do it anyway. Now, if you are planning on coming over here to Thailand, I wanna warn you about a potential for relationship issues that you could have here. Just because you're moving to Thailand and let's say you're looking for a Thai partner, doesn't mean that they're not human. In other words, they're still gonna have good qualities, they're still gonna have bad qualities. Keep that in mind. I think a lot of people have this misconception of the way things will be here in Thailand, that uh, this, everything's gonna be perfect. They're not like the women from my home country. Just know that we are all human and that everyone's gonna have their own set of issues. And there's also, also cultural things, aspects you need to take into consideration. I've got a ton of stories I could give you. I won't, I'll just give you a few. Like I've heard of people moving here, they fall in love with some woman here in Thailand, and what they don't realize is if, if they marry her, they're marrying the entire family, and it's her entire family that's driving the guy absolutely nuts. So just know that in a relationship, there are those kind of issues. In the news the other day, actually it was yesterday, there was a story about a foreigner who had moved here, elderly gentleman, married someone and had a child. The child was now five years old and she just left him. She got what she needed. She drained all the money gone out of his account, took off and left him with the child. Now these are the worst extreme case scenarios. And I've seen many, many, many other ones where the couple is madly in love. They're doing great. They got kids. Everyone's fine. So it goes both ways. But that's what I wanted to tell you is don't think that just because you're coming over here to look for another partner that they're not human and there's not going to be new issues or those same issues that you had with partners back in your home country. Now, if you are planning on moving here, just know down in the description under buy me a coffee, we have a link there. Click on buy me a coffee and you'll see a link for a step-by-step -step guide to moving here to Thailand, which covers all the steps that you would need to leave your home country to come here, including what to do with your mail, what to do with your phone, how to open a bank account, what about the visas, what about bringing my pets, on and on and on. So all that's taken care of, so make sure you check that out. So is Thailand a great place? Absolutely. Do I think you'll love it? Yes, but you just need to make sure you're coming here for the right reasons with the right expectations and make sure you focus on yourself and your issues before you come over here and make them 10 times worse because you're miserable, missing home, fill in the blank there. I think moving to a foreign country is a great way for a fresh start, for a new beginning. There's a lot to see and do in a, in a totally different country like something like this where you've got new sounds, new, new things to see, new places to visit. You've got the mountains, you've got the water, you've got everything you could possibly imagine. You've got 
sun year round. You've got the smoky season, but that's another topic. So things like that are great reasons to come here for Thailand. So I hope this makes you think about some things before you come here. I hope you do end up coming here. And we do have some shout outs for those of you who have contributed to our channel. And those people are as followed on Buy Me A Coffee. We have Gerard M, Momo, Robert H, Richard H, Hojo, Sonny, John and C and Andre, Johnny C, Phil C, and on super thanks, a shout out to Tish M. So thank you guys very much. We really, really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel so inclined, buy us a coffee. There's a link down in the description. And until next time, I'm gonna end this video by saying thank you in Thai, which is Kap Kun Kap.